Welcome back. Okay, so we're going to talk about jazz, um, you know, the kind of income that you can get from playing jazz compared with maybe some other kind of uh, music. Society right now, I think it's probably just warming up gradually to jazz. Um, popular music is up there. That's where you have most of the sponsorship going to. Mm. Um, jazz, of course, needs to really wake up with more um, um, ideas on how to push the music mm. and the musicians, because they are really the musicians. They're the ones that get up and play the instruments live and stuff, most cases. So jazz would need some form of push. Do young um, people appreciate jazz? A few do. But it's mainly the older people, right? Mainly, yes, you know, mainly the older people appreciate jazz. Um, mm. Some young people do, they're getting into it, because you have some other young jazz artists also coming up. So you have that community of But jazz strangely, novel. when George Benson came to Nigeria and he had a show at Eco Hotel, he was sold out. Oh, well. And, it, I mean, it was just a brilliant show, because we were all just singing along with right. him. I mean, George Benson know. actually is a crossover, so you can't really call him jazz. <laughs> you know, he crossed over for us a lot because we listened to him mm. back in the 80s at, the, at parties. So we could all relate to many of his songs. Yes, you know. yes. Mm. So um, if you have, you know, bring a proposal for businesses or people who can fund it and they hear jazz, what kind of reaction do they get? It's hard for me to tell, I have to say, but I know that... Um, it's not been um, appreciated enough. Hopefully it will grow. I mean, like we, we're celebrating the World Jazz Day, mm -hmm. April 30th. So you have a lot Dude. of jazz stuff going on all over the place. Now UNESCO, by the way, you know, uh, the slogan is peace and unity through um, social dialogue. So that's it for this year. So you have World Jazz Day celebration, end of this month, in many places across the world. So we're having in Lagos as well. So that's a good sign. It started about, you know, two, three years ago. So it's, that has been consistent. Mm. So as if with that and a few other jazz uh, programs happening, it's starting to pick up, but it's still pretty slow. So well, how are you the putting break, you were body. telling us about um, uh, a role you played in December. Yes, that was Fela's role. Yes, you, you, were, uh, you were Fela? Yes. Oh, I played, yeah, I played you played Fela, Fela in, in what um, in musical? A, in a, yeah, the musical, it's a, a BAP production musical, mm -hmm. um, Fela and the Calakota Queens. Yeah, so I, I, I got the role to play Fela in December. Mm. Very interesting. Yeah. So how did I never you acted before, but you know, I was trained, you know, by a lot of people. And because, of course, I had been following Fela since I was a kid, so it was kind of easy so to... So the mannerism, into, yeah, the way to pretend to be Fela. Exactly. Did you wear underpants? Because, no. <laughs> <laughs> so which of his songs did you have to sing? We sang, I sang um, Beast of Donation, Yellow Fever, uh, Suffering and Smiling, so many songs that, you know, I grew up listening to, so it was really fun for me. Mm. Yeah. It was fun. So aside from this jazz, you know, what else do you do? Do you do something Well, else? I run a production company. I, we do um, audio visual you know, services there. So aside from jazz, I also produce some other artists. Um, yeah, so that's really what I do um, if I'm not playing music. Mm. And looking at the music industry, how far have we gone in Nigeria? We've gone very far, but it's been very lopsided. So we need to expand our horizons better when it comes to, I mean, there are all the types of um, music genres out there. We've gone pretty far, but it's just been one-sided, seriously. That's it. Just, um, it's just been lopsided. It's always been, it's been, yeah, mostly pop music uh, is more appreciated and also more sponsored than other, other I mean, there's Apala, there's Fuji, there's Juju, there are all kinds of music out there that could really be pushed up. So if we can spread well, it Fuji out. Fuji had its better. time. I remember the days of Fuji, Fuji garbage. Is it garbage yes. or cabbage? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Fuji was the music of that time. Very so true. these things go and come. You know, it just keeps going around in, in cycles. cycles. Yes. Okay, so I guess we'll wait for jazz to come up then. Jazz will <laughs> probably come up very or soon. Or maybe, maybe mm. people like you can also do more in, in, in promotion, you know, promoting jazz. We, we can jazz. try, you know, we can try. We'll try. I mean, I never thought about it, but yeah. I've always been on the creative side, not necessarily, you know, pushing or promoting. So it's, okay. it's a good idea. Yeah, but there is traditional jazz 
and then there is um, oh god i can't remember what it's called it's anymore so, jazz progressive and jazz, jazz. Okay. and that had its time in the um late 90s mid 90s late 90s in nigeria where everybody was just i mean you get into people's rear cars and Bob James, right. um, Eric Gale, yes. people like Eric, Earl Klug. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was jazz. Yes. But it was a different kind of jazz. It was jazz yes. mixed with something else. And it was also a good listening music, good dancing music. Yes. It's mm. mainstream, it's smooth jazz. What people like, you know, people can, you know, you can tap it. And then there's the more complicated jazz. There are different types of jazz, actually. Mm -hmm. Afrobeat is jazz. So it depends on how you look at it. There's acid jazz, there's so many. You know that people create and then. Which you know, one do you play? I'll say I play Afrobeat classics. So it's pretty well, much like Afrobeat. Afro, yes, that, yes. that should make it quite easily in Nigeria, shouldn't it? It is. It is Nigeria. It's totally Nigeria. This is original. <laughs> okay. Two one, two one. Yes. Two one, two one. Okay. I think we, we would like to hear, you know, you play or something. Or sing something. Sing something, you know. Ah. <laughs> yeah, you have to. <laughs> yes, <laughs> so okay. when we sign out, um, okay. then you can sing us out. All right, that sounds good. Okay. Now all of us go sing go. That's the spirit. That's the spirit. Very felice. Very felice. Yes, yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you for coming on today. We've been having a chat with the heavy wind right. or light on Adini G. And that's the program for this week. Thank you so much for being a part of the show. I'm Yomi Otaibe. And I'm Alero Edu. Bye bye. Hmm, over to you. Yeah, 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 kun wale o, ah, no John John kit. Yeah, 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 kun wale, ah, no John. You know single. Yeah, 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 kun wale o, ah, no John John kit. Yeah, 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 kun wale. Oh yeah, let's go and speak now. <laughs>